Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, welcome back to another video. This video, we are going to look at the essay template. Essay template which is working in 2024 and which you have to follow if you want a higher score in writing. Remember this thing. It's not that only one template which I'm going to give you in this video will work. It's more about using the template properly, right? If you're using this template and if you're not really using it properly, you're not really going to get the scores. So what I'm going to tell you in this video that which template you have to use, um, how you have to satisfy the marking criteria, and how you have to use the template properly, how you have to add proper keywords. That is where you'll come to know that um, what is that particular thing which will work for you and which will help you get a higher score in your writing module. What I'll be doing in this video, first of all, I'll share my screen with you. I'll show you the template and then I'll attempt one essay question um, using the same template. I'll show you how you have to add keywords so that it's crystal clear for you um, which template you have to use, how you have to use so that you can get full points out of it. Let's get into the video. I'll share my screen and then we'll go from there. All right. So this is the essay template. If you look over here, version 1.3 and increasing trend in today's world is the emergence of the argument that over here you have to write the whole essay statement. If the essay statement is long, means there are two sentences. You can write first um, sentence here and then second sentence over here. If it's a short one, you can write the whole sentence here. Then you'll write this essay will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the above statement concerned with the notion that over here you can write few keywords from the statement. Then at the outset, there are several reasons supporting my viewpoint. The most significant related to the keyword from the essay topic, you can just write the main word here or a phrase, small phrase, includes betterment of the society along with the growth of every individual on the planet. Thanks to the benefits offered, individuals can not only attain greater success and effectiveness, but can also enhance efficiency, productivity, and quality of life with remarkable ease. Other factors impacted by the topic are three keywords which should be related. These keywords are very important. If you're not using these keywords or if you're not writing proper keywords, things are not going to work for you. I'm telling you again and again, you need to make sure you add proper keywords, which do make some sense. However, another key factor to note is its potential to aid individuals in flourishing, advancing and excelling across different fields and domains. Therefore, individuals involved in main topic or main keyword or main phrase from the asset topic can expand their horizons and skills and develop qualities like commitment, dedication and perseverance only by adhering to such a system. This clarifies why many support the assertion that as a statement over here, the whole statement, if there are two sentences, you can just write the first sentence. Moreover, three keywords are also important to be taken into account. Keyword one, two and three mean not the same one, uh, same ones. You have to write three separate or different keywords over here. To conclude, from my perspective, the government of Australia is taking a great initiative in educating its citizens against the negative impacts of the statement that over here as a statement, or if you're exceeding the word limit, you can just write main keywords or phrases from the essay topic. Citizens are being encouraged to adhere to applicable laws and regulations related to main keywords over here, which will help to enhance global prosperity, productivity, efficiency, and a positive environment. If you don't have three keywords over here, or if you're exceeding the word limit, instead of three, you can just try two keywords. So keyword one, comma, and keyword two. Remember this thing. Let me give you an example of how you have to actually attempt this. Um, what are the things you need to take care of? Yeah, so my screen is visible. Let's say this is our essay topic, right? Taking part in sports is important for an adult's health and happiness. I'll just copy and paste the essay template and increasing. This is a short essay statement. You don't have to write the question, but all the keywords which are there in the essay topic has, you know, all of them, they need to be in the answer. If you're not including all the keywords from the essay topic or essay prompt, you're not going to get the score. Sometimes you'll have some keywords in the question as well. In that case, you have to make sure you include the keywords from the question as well. Increasing trend and increasing trend in today's world is the emergence of the argument that use inverted commas. T will not be capitalized because um, we are not starting a new sentence. Taking part in sports is important for an adult's health and happiness. Concerned with now, we'll not write the whole topic again. We can just write a few keywords. <laughs> you can write uh, taking part in sports is important, like something like this, right? Or you can even write um, um, 
sports importance of sports for adults and you can write something like this as well if you're comfortable framing out sentences at the outset there are several reasons supporting my viewpoint the most significant one related to the keyword you can just write sports for adults includes betterment of the society this is this then you have to write other factors impacted by the topic don't worry about replacing the topic or you can even write sports over here otherwise if you're not sure you can just write um, topic over here now we have to add three keywords what are three keywords keywords which do answer uh, you know the essay prompt or essay question essay question is taking part in sports is important for adults health and happiness right what are the advantages or what are the benefits of taking parts in sports other factors impacted by the topic are better physical health comma mental health and what are the uh, uh, physical health, mental health, and you can write a better physical health, mental health, and relaxation you can write or and keeping the body active. You can write it this way. However, another key factor to note is its potential to aid its individual in flourishing, advancing, and accelerating across different fields and domains. Therefore, individuals involved in sports can expand their horizons and skills and develop qualities like commitment, dedication, perseverance only by adhering to such a system. This clarifies why many support the assertion that taking part in sports is important for an adult's health and happiness moreover three keywords now more three advantages we have to write one you can write <laughs> uh moreover dash are also important less stress protection or you can write keeping the body strong and a positive and work-life balance you can write work-life balance is again associated with you know why it's important to participate in um you know sports it helps us maintain work-life balance or if you don't want to write work-life balance, you can write uh, less stress, increasing the body, uh, keeping the body strong, and increasing the overall happiness. Increasing the overall happiness and satisfaction. So just three keywords. In case you don't, you're not able to find three keywords. At least write two keywords, please. One and two are also important to be taken into account. To conclude, from my perspective, the government of Australia is taking a great initiative. This is this is statement that um, we are already on 283 words. We will not write the whole thing. Statement that it is important for adults to participate in sports. If you want to make your essay even stronger, right? If you want to make sure that your content is even stronger, you can write sports such as cricket and football what why i've added football and cricket so that these are also keywords related with sports right if you're writing an essay on sports you will use words like cricket soccer football volleyball basketball so you can add few keywords like this here and there just to make sure that you do not lose points in content because if you lose points in content you're not going to get scores anywhere so try to add as many related keywords you can related to sports and adults. You could have written just sports as well, but if you can write both the keywords, that will be better. And that is it. So what is the main criteria here? I'm, you know, sharing again with you. Find two keywords at least here, if not three, and then two keywords here as well, if not three. 
um, make sure all the keywords from the essay topic are included in the answer. If there are, there's only one sentence, then you include that sentence, all the keywords from that, that sentence. If the two sentences include all the keywords from those two sentences, first sentence has to go over here and second sentence has to go over here. If there's only one sentence, first sentence over here, and then few keywords from the first sentence here. Similarly, keywords from the essay topic, main keywords over here, you can mold the keywords as well, or you can write few related words from the key, uh, from the main topic as well. Three um, points or keywords answering the question, three points or keywords answering the question. Worst case, if you're not getting any keyword, repeat the keywords from the question. Worst case, but don't leave this blank, right? Same keyword from the question, essay statement or keyword from the question, and you will be done. Now this template, works i have tried this in my test um all our students there were a lot of students who have got 90 each as well or 79 plus in 2024 all of them they're using the same template it is working but the main concern is you have to use the template properly if you're not using it properly things are not going to work for you you're not really going to get the scores you need to make sure you make the template work for yourself and that is something which will help you get a higher score in your writing module and overall as well. Template will work. If you're using any other template, that is going to work as well, but make sure you include all the keywords from the essay prompt, plus add few keywords related to the essay topic. That will help us ensure that we are not losing points in content. Computer is not detecting that you have just written a crammed answer to tell the computer that yes, we are writing about the um, essay prompt or essay topic, we have to add proper keywords related to the essay topic. And that is how you get your scores in your writing and in your essay question as well. That is it from this video. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, do like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. To practice, just go on languageacademy.com.au. You'll get a free full score mock test. I request you to take that before you go for the test so that you know what mistakes you're making, how you have to improve and what are the things you need to be careful about. If you don't have access to computer, Computer. You can download LAPT exam practice app available on um, Android and iOS as well. We do have branches in India, Australia and Nepal. We do provide online classes. Doesn't matter if you're preparing for PT academic, PT core, any test related to PT, we are there to help you. Um, we will be there to help you. If you need any help, give us a call, send us a message and we'll make sure you do not waste your time and money and you get your desired scores. If I have done it, if thousands of students are doing it, you can do it as well. Just go on languageacademy.com.au, practice, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care, um, practice, and do not give up. Just like, share, and subscribe as well. That is something which will keep me going on. I have scored 73 in my PD in only 10 days. I achieved my desired score just in 20 days. My desired score. Desired score. My desired score. Desired PT score. Desired 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 score. Language Academy to achieve.